Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss 2018 one more question that is it has been asked for 14 months. On 1-4-2018, X limited and Y limited were amalgamated into Z limited. Look at here, there are two companies, X and Y company. These two company will be amalgamated into a company, new company called Z limited. Okay, on the basis of the following balance sheet. What they are given liabilities X limited, Y limited, assets X limited, Y limited. So paid up capital. 44,835,000, rate as 1,000,200, reserves 1,600, 2,400, pay account 2,200,800. These two are reserves and credit as a liability. Goodwill 16,000, 6,400, building 10,000, 12,000, plant 8,200, 2,000, stock 8,400, 6,600, debtors 4,600, 8,000, cash 2,400, and 4,400. Totally, we have 49,600 and 39,400 respectively. Okay, assets and the liabilities. Next, additional information. Building of both the company to be written off by 10%. You have to write off building 5% and provide 5% reserve uh, reserved for bad uh, reserve for bad and doubtful debts. So it is 5%. Goodwill to be valued at 9,300 and 3,000. The entire amount of purchase consideration was discharged by the allotment of Chase okay, Z limited to take over the remaining assets and liabilities at book value. See, they have given adjustment related to only these information these three assets one is building, other one is data and goodwill. So, other you have to assume that as per book value, okay, other is at book value. And Z limited paid uh, liquidation expenses rupees 5000 and 4000 respectively as a part of purchase consideration. As a part of purchase consideration, they are paying liquidation expenses, okay. Prepare necessary ledger accounts in the books of X and Y limited. Look at here, they are asking us to prepare only ledger accounts in the books of X and Y limited. But it doesn't mean that you, you don't have to calculate the PC. You have to calculate PC for all the questions. Okay, let it be 6 months or 14 months because after calculation PC only, you can go for ledger accounts. Okay? Now, my first question is always, see, uh, when it comes to this chapter, acquisition and merger, please keep in mind, First, you have to identify whether it is amalgamation in the nature of merger because there are two methods of amalgamation. Amalgamation in the nature of merger and amalgamation in the nature of purchase. You have to identify whether it is amalgamation in the nature of merger or purchase. So for purchase, the condition is simple. All assets need to be taken over. They're taking over all assets fine. And all assets should be carried at uh, book value only. There should not be any adjustment. But look at here, building, of both the companies to be written off by 10%, there is an adjustment relating to assets. So it cannot be a merger. It should be a purchase method. And look at here, they have given goodwill taken over 9,000. So whenever they give you market value or any adjustment related to assets, please keep in mind, it is not merger, it is purchase method. And what they have given? No, first is always calculation of PC. See, for calculation of PC, uh, there are three methods. One is lump sum, net asset, net payment. But when it comes to lump sum, they, they should give you the question. They are not given. Fine, it is not a lump sum. And net payment method, see, they have given information related to what is that? Uh, mode of information, but it is partial information. Look at here. The entire amount of PC was discharged by the allotment of shares. But how many shares or how much of amount you need to discharge? They were not given. So it cannot be net payment method. Then what? Should be, if it is not lump sum, if it is not net payment, then it should be obviously a net asset method for your okay. We have other methods, but to, for degree purpose, only three methods. Okay. Next, now, and they have given assets information. Okay, you have to take assets taken over at market value, and also you have to take liabilities. Okay, now goodwill. See, we have 16,000 and 6,400, but we have adjustment. What is the adjustment? Um, 9,300 and 3,000. So you have to take these two values. We have to calculate PC for both the separately, both the companies for X and Y, you need to calculate separately. And building uh, 10,000 we have, 12,000 we have. They have given 10% return down. So 10,000 in, uh, into 10% 10 is 1,000 and 12,000 into 10% 10 is 1,200. You have to minus 10,000 minus 1,000, 9,000. And 12,000 minus 1,200, it will be 10,800. Okay, and provide 5% RBD for debtors of both the companies. So 5% you need to minus debtors. Look at the debtors. How much we have? 4,600 we have. If you do into 5%, it will be 230. And for 8,000, it will be 400. Okay. 
you have to minus these two figures out of mm. datas and good we already we have taken and next other assets look at here they have given only building uh, they have given goodwill information they have given building and they have given letters so plant and stock you have to take book value only and cash you have to take book value only so for calculation of this and only one credit as we have sorry only one liability we have thousand thousand two hundred so that is what they have done look at here calculation of pc so it is net asset method assets taken over goodwill they have given the market value of goodwill look at here nine thousand three hundred three thousand you have to take building i told you it was ten thousand so ten thousand 10,000 minus 10% if you do, how much will get? Uh, 9,000. 10,000 into 10% if you do, you get 1,000. So 10,000 minus uh, 1,000 is how much? So it will be 9,000. And here it was 12,000. Okay. Into 10% uh, into is 1,200. If you minus, how much it will be? 10,800 that is what they have given and plant no adjustment so you have to take book value only look at your plant uh, 8,200 2,000 same book value we have stock what is it uh, 8, 8,400 6,600 you have to take the same figures okay 8,400 6,600 then we don't have any adjustment you have to take same look at your 8,400 but what they have given here uh so 4600 8000 we have but this is five percent we have uh provided for rbd is how much five percent so 4600 five percent if you do how much you'll get so 230 will get if you minus it will be 4370 next one we have 8000 okay 8000 we have so if you do 5%, it will be 400. If you minus 7,600, uh, look at here, 4,370 and uh, 7,600, they have to take. 4,370 and 7,600. And cash, they are not given any adjustment, so you have to take same value. 2,400 and 4,400. So total, if you add, it will be 650 and 34,400. Okay, and liabilities is only one. They will not give any adjustment, so you will take book value 1000 and 1200. Okay, liabilities assets taken over minus liabilities, then we will get 40,670 and 33,200. And also, what they have given, look at here, this is very, very important in adjustment. The entire amount, sorry, what is it? Uh, Z limited paid liquidation expenses 5000 and 4000 respectively. As a part of purchase consideration, see after uh, assets minus liabilities, we will get uh, 40,670 and 33,200. Okay, even they have incurred liquidation expenses as a part of purchase consideration. So you have to add for PC only 4670 plus 5000, 45,670, 33,200 plus 4000, 37,200 as a part of PC. So it will be total purchase consideration will be 45,670 and 37,200. And discharge of PC, they have clearly given. Look at here, the entire purchase consideration was discharged by the allotment of shares. So you can write uh, equity share capital in equity shares of rupees 10H, same 45,650, 37,250 for X and Y respectively. Okay, this is discharge of PC. Next, we have to prepare ledger accounts now. Now, see, when you're preparing ledger accounts, you have to prepare under both X and Y. And you should be careful here. Please keep it in mind. Always you have to, okay. Always you have to start from, uh, what is it? Uh, assets, okay. And whether it is uh, taken over or not, you have to take only, only you have to take book value. Look at here, they have given adjustment relating to goodwill, 9,000 something. But you should not take that value. You have to take always book value. You have to take always book value. Now look at here in whatever the item we have in balance sheet the same will be taken here look at here all assets need to be taken over the total assets is how much 49600 and all liabilities need to be taken over what is the total liabilities 39400 irrespective of you no know, taken over or not and uh, always you have to take book value the same book value is taken over here and please correct this one it is 39400 
it is 39,500, not 38,400. Okay. Next, creditors also you have to take. Creditors is only 1,000, 1,200 book value. You see, when it comes to merger, you have to take even reserves. But when it comes to purchase, purchase, you have to take only liabilities. And if there is any statutory reserve, then you have to take. Okay. Now, buy creditors 1,000, 1,200. Buy PC is how much? Already, which we have calculated here. But here, PC. Forty-five, six seventy, and thirty-seven two hundred. Same you have to take. See if you want, you can prepare separately also for X and Y. You can prepare separately. Or you can do like this also. It's left to you. So buy Z company account. Forty-five, six seventy, thirty-seven two hundred. And now we don't have any uh, reserve. Look at here. I already told you you should not take reserve. You should that will be taken under reserves. So other items you should ignore. Okay. Now what you have to do? You have to total. Okay, which side will be more? Now, asset side will be more 49,600, 38,600. That means here it will be less. So, if you're getting profit, also you should transfer to equation support. Even if you're getting loss, also you need to transfer to equation support. We have 2930 and 1000. After preparing English loan, you can directly go to uh, set limited account. Okay, they have pre not prepared set limited, you have to prepare a set limited account. Okay, and next one, what we have? Equal share account. See, they have prepared only three accounts. You, you can prepare equal uh, Z limited account, other account, okay? cash account also. If you want, you can prepare. Okay. Now, equal share account. First, always you have to bring down equal share capital. What is equal share capital? We have. Look at balance sheet. Paid up capital. We have forty four eight hundred thirty five thousand, and you have to bring down these reserves also. Okay, you have to bring down. Now you have to write all these amount forty four eight hundred. Uh, see, your, the amount should be except this creditors, okay, 1000, uh, 1200. It should be 48600 and uh, 38200. 48600, 38200. That is same only. You have to, you have to write 48600, 38200. And in go to relation account, here we have got loss, correct? No, here we have got loss, loss of how much? 2930 and 1000. So you have to repeat the same 2930 and 1000. And next one, they are issuing PC, correct? No? Look at here. This account. Next, before that, you have to prepare equity shelters account. Equity shelters and certificate account is. Okay. They are, they are supposed to be prepared, but they are not prepared. Equity shelters and certificate account is 2 certificate account, 45670, 3200. And by equal account, how much we have? 35, 7, uh, 35, 7, 6, 35, 670 and 37,200 we have. Same amount will be divided here. Equal share since it's limited. 45, 670 and 37,200. So totally, if you add, it will be 48,600, 38,200. See, before that, you have to prepare Z limited account. Here, they are not prepared Z limited account. Okay. So you can prepare a Z limited account. I'll tell you how to prepare Z limited account. Just a minute. I'll explain once okay? So, See, uh, look at the what is it after preparing relation code please remember see you know how to prepare relation code, correct now we'll start once again okay you have to prepare relation account we'll get 30 49,600 and 39,400 uh, this correct this one 39,400 next before preparing equity shares account and equity shares account you have to prepare z limited account look at your z limited account is created here correct now z limited account is created here so that means realization account should be debited here to realization account to, to realization account how much you will get the same amount you have to write here okay uh, 45 670 and 37 200 yeah if, sorry here you have to write two companies right 
x y. So forty five six seventy thirty seven two hundred. Here also you can write x and y. And look at here. Whenever you are preparing set limited account, always you have to. Okay, what you need to do? Uh, the, in when you preparing set limited account, you have to discharge a PC. You have to write in the credit side. You have to you have to write discharge a PC. What is the discharge a PC? They have done. They have done forty five thousand six seventy thirty seven thousand two hundred two equity shares. So what you have to write? I equity shares in set limited account. Set limited account. How much will I? Much we love same amount only we will have correct no How much forty five six seventy and uh, uh, thirty seven two hundred if you total the same amount will be there now this is what is it Z limited account okay, you have to prepare after preparing this one. You know, good year. After preparing Z limited account, you have to go for uh, uh, what is it? Equity shares in limited account. Okay. First, please remember you have to prepare relation account. Already we have prepared relation account. Next, you prepare Z limited account. They are not prepared. And next, you have to prepare equity shares in Z limited account. Now look at here. Third general entry will be so that third, third ledger account will be. Equity shares in uh, set limit account. Look at here, here it has been credited, that means this account will be debited. So, to Z company limit account 45,670, 37,200, and the same will be transferred to buy equity shares account. After preparing set limit account, you have to go for equity shares account. You have to bring down a reserve, profit and account, and reserve, sorry, profit and account, and general reserve, equity share capital. Next, in the realization account, we have got loss. How much? This lot need to be debited in the equal shares account. You have to debit and look at here, which is created here. Equal shares account, the same will be okay. This account will be debited in the equity shares account. Two equity shares in upset limited account 45,670, 37,200. So totally it will be 48,600, 38,200, and 48,600, 38,200. That means your answer is correct, okay, which has been asked for 14 months. In the year 2018. Uh, sorry for the confusion because uh, here I thought the account has been prepared. So I went for answer, but they are not prepared. So, which I have already given here, you just copy this uh, uh, set limited account, okay? And even you have to total this amount, okay? This total this amount, uh, okay? Then you will get answer, okay? So I hope the concept is clear. So, like this, you have to prepare uh, ledger accounts. And if you have any doubt, you can please uh, clarify doubts. Okay, clarify your doubts. Uh, if you want, you can show total, or you can just ignore total. If you want, you can delete also. If you don't want, okay. this will be the answer. What is it? Uh, set limited account. Just copy this one. So first, you prepare a relation account. Second, you prepare a set limited account. Third, you prepare equity shares in set limited account. And fourth one, you can go for Equity shareholder support. Okay. I hope the concept is clear. Uh, sorry for the confusion. Once again, okay. Thank you all. We'll be in the next video.